Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I talk a lot about spirituality, wellness tips, so welcome along. But today I wanna get right into the video. We are talking about spirituality and religion. It has the negative and evil connotation due to the fact that everything literally has a Eurocentric approach. Someone of white skin, nine times out of 10, is making a lot of the media that we see in everyday TV. Oftentimes when Hollywood portrays voodoo, any type of hoodoo or black witchcraft, black spirituality, there's going to be a negative evil spin on it. But what we have to understand is historically, right? So if you follow me on my page at that girl Vani, you know this week I've been talking a lot about it. Thursday I made a post about spirituality in the historical content. 1791, Haiti, right? This is the first independent black nation. They actually were able to win over France due to a voodoo ceremony. I will repeat, Haiti was able to overstand France and win this battle because of the fact of a voodoo ceremony. So voodoo, whether you like it or not, is in our history. A lot of this folk healing magic, especially that got us here to this day, is because of witchcraft. It's because of some type of voodoo, um, Santeria. A lot of these traditions are from African cultures, especially the Gullah Geechee. The Gullah Geechee culture, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and a little bit of Florida are heavily heavily rooted with a lot of these spiritual traditions from different tribes found in africa so what you will see is that because of the frequent migration of black people black native people we were picking up traditions here and there we were learning to shape a lot of our healing cultures with the land with what we had a lot of the Gullah Geechee healing remedies and herbal remedies are your like sea coastal herbs and sea coastal friendly plants so what people really don't understand is there always is going to be good and bad that is inevitably a part of life that goes with the theory that is actually hell on earth there's good and bad everywhere people kill people on earth people do mean things with no explanation on earth whether they're hurting from something or you know have attachment issues from childhood this is hell on earth and there's going to be good and evil with inevitably everything that we have here on this planet so what you have to understand is because you may have heard of somebody in your family doing evil or dark magic dark energy with santeria or hoodoo or voodoo that does not mean every version of that is going to be negative evil or bad and even in religion there is good and evil with religion we know that there's bad pastors just like there's good pastors it's the same thing like i feel like over time this whole spirituality just kind of got misconstrued because of america because of european descendants wanting to scare us they try to get us to be scared of our culture to separate us from our power when we don't know about how to heal the body when we don't know how to use the land to cultivate fruits and vegetables we are away from our power we can create all of this and i know when i say these things people look at me like i'm crazy but it's in our dna spirituality is in our dna but what happens over time is that they have separated it from us so we're not even able to unlock this dna until something triggers it or something or someone in your path gets you to remember it i also wanted to talk about the many many similarities especially my southern baptist churches southern ba i was raised in a southern baptist church and a lot of these you know healing oils a lot of these holy ghost praise dances that we have are rooted i guarantee you go google Gullah Geechee praise song or Gullah Geechee church and it'll show you how closely and how similar the holy ghost is in our southern baptist churches especially to the Gullah Geechee churches or the Gullah Geechee spirituality dances and praises that we had I also want to point out oil. Oil that we have in a Christian church, Baptist church, Southern Baptist, that is going to be without herbs. Usually every oil that I've ever seen, any anointing oil at the pastor's, you know, stand, it's not going to have herbs in it. It takes the power out of it. We have lessened it. We have watered it down. That's literally, to me, what religion is. It is a watered down version of spirituality. And that was very, when I was finding out all this information, it doesn't feel good to have a belief or something questioning 
your whole life literally but it's like if this you know it's making a little more sense to me it's like I'm putting a puzzle piece together there was a lot of questions that I know I had for myself I was going to Bible study I was going to Sunday church and doing all the good stuff but it's like I had so many questions that could not be answered with the Bible and when I tell you the Bible you have to read it from a metaphysical standpoint in that Jesus is the Son and a lot of these imageries that we have in the Bible are actually in reference to a lot of chakra that we have our chakra systems in our body and I know that that sounds crazy to some people that have never heard it if you follow me on TikTok at these hidden gems you know I talk a lot about chakras and how to heal the chakra starting with the bottom and going up I want to point out Matthew 6 2 2 Matthew chapter 6 verse 22 states the eye not the eyes the eye I believe this is in reference to the third eye when you think about it it's literally written t-h-e the eye one eye in that this is the lamp of the body if your eyes are healthy these eyes your whole body will be full of light when this verse Matthew 6 2 2 says when your eyes are healthy I believe he's talking about not only these because there's a lot of black people that go blind due to us trying to pick up this standard American diet. This standard American diet is sad, S-A-D. It literally spells the word. We are losing our eyesight. We're having diabetes left and right, high blood pressure. And that's because we forgot how to keep a holy temple. We forgot how to keep a cleansed temple. A lot of religious people that I seek to understand is hard for me because they never had that understanding within themselves to actually overstand the Bible in its entirety. Even when I claimed to be religious, I did not read the whole Bible in its entirety and break it down. And actually, now that I'm spiritual, I'm going back to revisit the Bible and looking at it through a more spiritual lens. And I'm telling you, you will unlock things. You will see similarities in yourself, in nature there's a lot of nature references in the bible a lot of the bible considers nature and the heaven and the moon and the stars that's astrology there is a lot of astrological references in the bible psalms 8 3 states when i consider thy heavens the work of thy fingers the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained moon and the stars that's astrology a lot of people say astrology is wicked astrology is weird I don't understand especially and I also try to seek to really hear out people when they're so upset at crystals crystals are so natural to this earth it was here before a lot of you were so I don't understand how can something that is found natural to this earth that you believe your God to have created then how what is so wrong with the crystal my approach can be a little harsh and I get that but I know listen let's get serious let's get real when y'all leave church y'all are confused y'all are confused I know I was confused many a time many a times where I'm just like that didn't sit right like that story like Jacob's ladder Jacob's ladder is actually speaking about the chakras there's a lot of stories that just make so much more sense to me now that I have picked up a spiritual lens. Like I said, the comments are always open. Woo, my legs. My DMs are always open for a discussion. If you know, honey, I'm always ready to talk to someone because these are questions that I had to ask myself. It was very uncomfortable, I know that, but to make any type of growth to ascend to your higher self is gonna be times where it gets weird. It's gonna be times where it gets uncomfortable. Like just this week, and it could be I'm a rising Pisces, who knows? <laughs> very, very emotional. Spirituality is very, very uncomfortable at times, but guess what? After honey, peace and blessings manifest with every lesson learned. If you haven't already, follow me on Instagram at that girl Vani. Follow me on my business page. I make beautiful, beautiful crystal necklaces. I have herbal tea blends. I am dropping a new product. I actually dropped it today, Friday. I'm gonna be posting this video on Friday, so. And also, Trendy Beyond the Stars. Thank you so much for my earrings, honey. I got them at our pop-up event, and it was great. The vibes were high. It was beautiful time, so. Thank you guys so much for supporting me as always. I will see you next time. Like I said, if you have not already, please be sure to subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.